Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Strange and scary news coming out of Los Angeles. Tennis Channel analyst and ATP board member Justin Gimmelstab was arrested in LA on a felony battery charge. In a bizarre story, the 41-year-old Gimbelstab disguised as a pilot from the movie Top Gun, is accused of a brutal assault on Halloween night. Police reports say that the former ATP pro snuck up behind venture capitalist Randall Kaplan, who was walking with his wife and his two-year-old daughter in Los Angeles at about 6.30 on Halloween night. Gimbelstab allegedly attacked Kaplan from behind, striking him 50 times and threatening to kill him, according to Kaplan. The assault left Kaplan with large contusions and bruises as well as a possible concussion, according to the Los Angeles Times. Kaplan, who is a friend of Gimmelstab's estranged wife, Carrie, claims the former UCLA All-American had previously threatened him. Carrie Gimbelstab filed a domestic violence restraining order against her estranged husband back in 2016, alleging that he physically assaulted and harassed her and verbally attacked her and stole from her. This all according to the Los Angeles Times report. Police booked Gimbelstab on a felony battery charge and released him on $50,000 bail. According to Gimbelstab's attorney, Sean Hawley, he says there's another side to the story and Justin will vigorously defend himself against all these claims. Now, as we tape today's news, we haven't yet heard Justin's version of what happened on Halloween night, but we do wonder what it all means for him what it means for the ATP and the Tennis Channel. Former world number one Leighton Hewitt called on the ATP to take action on Gimmelstab. Hewitt took to Twitter and posted the New York Post headline on the attack along with this one sentence statement. The ATP World Tour must lead by example and do something about this. Justin, who won 13 doubles titles during an 11 year pro career, was initially elected to the ATP board back in 2008 and is a power player in ATP politics. Now, here is a subtext to this story. Justin's beloved father, Barry Gimmelstab, passed away on October 26th, five days before the alleged Halloween assault. Now, both the ATP and Tennis Channel have issued statements. They say they are aware of the situation and they understand that this is an ongoing police matter. That's from the ATP. And they say it would not be good for them to comment at this moment. Now, Tennis Channel says that Justin requested a leave of absence. The network showed support, cautioning there are many sides to every story, saying Justin is a longtime valued member of our network family. We don't want to rush to immediate judgment and we'll follow this closely as more details come to light. Now, this arrest isn't the first for Justin Gimmelstab. Ten years ago, Justin blasted some women players in a sexist radio rant. Justin called Anna Kornikova the B word. He said he despises her and threatened to hit her with the ball in a mixed doubles exhibition that the pair were scheduled to play. He branded Elisa Cornet a sex pot and said women players lack social skills because they don't go to high school. Now, Justin issued an immediate apology for that 2008 tirade. He has a successful broadcast career and a decade long run on the ATP board. Now, more than ever, Words and actions matter, so what action should the ATP take? What about the Tennis Channel? And Justin, for that matter, what's he gonna say about this case? And we will follow this case and bring you any updates. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.